Hi everybody and welcome back to Hex Token Channel. Here we are, Hex.com. It's the 1st of January 2022. Woohoo! Party time. And of course, here we are in New Zealand, 1.26 p.m. in the afternoon on Saturday, enjoying the 1st of January. It is pretty cool. Uh, perfect weather here too. Uh, let's get straight into it, folks. Hex.com. Let's go. Day number 760 has come into play. And let's check out the results. 31st of December 2021. Hey, look at that. That's not too bad. A price snap shot of 28.463 cents. Uh, man, that's a, on a bit of a comeback there. We're going to talk about the price, of course. I had some pretty big volatile action there. Uh, down 10% after 24 hours, uh, but not too bad at all. Return on investment multiplier from all-time low. Uh, the 5th of January 2020 uh, is a 5,042. And a look at that payout. Woohoo! That's the fourth day, man. I just love this payout. 6.046. Uh, pay out Patricia, very, very cool. Of course, in the future, this is going to go up. This is going to be way higher, uh, 10 hex per day, 20 hex a day. So if you're holding those T-shares in the future, you're going to be absolutely uh, swimming in the hex. It's going to be pretty cool. And, of course, it's going to be a lot less T-shares at some stage, uh, closer to the average period as well. Uh, lots of excitement happening around that. What is a T-share? What does it cost to get a T-share price? Uh, $5,681 at the moment. Uh, certainly about $600 cheaper than yesterday, so uh, certainly a better day to pick up some T-shares. Uh, T-shirt rate 19958 uh, for the final day of the year. It is the 31st of December. Uh, we did not hit 20000 before the end of the year, uh, and probably a month ago I felt confident that we would. Uh, we did not do that, but we did get a, a, an increase of 9.8. Looks like a new year uh, will be uh, for the hit, the rate hitting 20000 Let's get straight in. Average stake length continues to increase with these big stakes coming up before the 2nd of January, which is tomorrow. So we've only got really one more day. We will check that out on the stake ladder, of course. Uh, six six years and three uh, 6.03 uh, years is for the average stake length. Amazing. And uh, annual percentage yield rate interest in early in-state penalties. 38.5%. Look at these returns. The last four days in particular have been uh, relatively uh, uh, impressive. So nice. Liquidity in the pool, 122.5 million X. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, a hex scale. Uh, Kinetics team will be happy about uh, having a bit more supply in there so they can buy it up uh, when they are ready. A liquidity pool, 33.8 million. And uh, looks nice. Looks nice there. Uh, still holding up pretty good level. Uh, 1,496 ETH as well. That's gone increased. That's actually increased. Wow. All right. So we've had a bit of a shift in the pool stuff there. That's actually up from 1,388. Expected to go down. Uh, so interesting stuff going on there. Um, total value locked uh, 17.37 and uh, 164 uh, billion mark cap. Uh, down about 18 billion from yesterday. Includes the origin of wallet, of course, or origin addresses. T-shirt market cap is 60.044 billion, and oh man, T-shirt's down at 21,665 to 10,639,505. Like I say, if you're holding one of these T-shirts, you've been getting awesome payout over six uh, hex per T-shirt last four days. Amazing results. Uh, let's have a look at total supply. 637.3 billion up 24 million has been minted. Uh, this is kind of newly minted. In other words, it's come from inflation and it's in the in the house there. A circulating supply 576.3 billion and that's up 116 million. So this is all these stakes coming out. We've got all this volume uh, that was big pressure for uh, the price to hold up, but the price is holding up at uh, like we say 28 and a half cents at the moment. Uh, so the price is still doing really well in the midst of all the supply coming out. And of course, we know that tomorrow uh, is expected to be the last day of that uh, of that heavy, heavy amount of circulating supply coming in. Uh, stake supply, 61 billion, and that's down 92 million there. So we've got all the stuff to deal with, uh, but still doing pretty well, as I say. Let's jump past the GA, the good accounting numbers. Uh, the stake percent is 9.589. Uh, down, down, down. So that's been the lowest. If you are staked, you are you are making it, and you're going to copy on the pulse chain uh, for in, in terms of hex on pulse chain. Uh, payout 64.3 million. Uh, that's of course deferred inflation. This is the 3.69 percent. Of course, only 9.58 percent is staked. Uh, so that means that uh, you know the returns, uh, all, all that inflation is going to the staking class. So that's why we're getting uh, you know upwards of uh, 37 to 40 percent uh, returns, including penalties, of course. Penalties 1.7 million uh, for the day, and look, the last four days particularly good. Uh, but we've had five really good days out of the last 10, looking spectacular. If you're staking it, you're making it. Uh, you're not too worried about where the price is moving so much uh, because you are seeing the big pump and metals in X. Total holders for 102,000. 
508 up 750. Woohoo! I'm certainly liking these big numbers now. And uh, man, I can't wait till these get into the thousands and a tens of thousands when we get that virality start going. Current stake is 73,534 up 65. Total stake is 92,970 up 221. And of current holders, 278,377. Actually down uh, 425. That's the first time I've seen a negative number. Interesting there. So we'll watch that for tomorrow. That results is the is, uh, the last day of 2021, uh, day 760. And of course, the 31st of December 2021. Amazing. Well, farewell 2021, 2022. Uh, we'll be reporting on that tomorrow. That's amazing. And uh, wow, wow. Let's go into the real-time price now on Hex. Wow, uh, 29 cents. But look at this candle, folks. Look at this candle. It uh, actually went down to 24.7. This is on uh, USDC version 3, uh, Paul. And uh, look at that. Look at that candle recover. Yeah. Uh, back over 29 cents. That's impressive. And, of course, uh, buying starting to come in there. And we had that uh, sort of a, almost like a flash, uh, or not quite a full flash crash, but 24-7 uh, uh, there. Once we got that, uh, you know, some hex OG selling down, uh, some stuff that are pulling us down on the 31 cent mark. Uh, we had to find some price discovery in the 20s. That's pretty much what happened. Uh, we can thank that XOG that we talked about in the live stream yesterday for that. Uh, they're sitting pretty though, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, there we are. We're recovering pretty strong. Let's watch this. And I'm going to pull up uh, the old price prediction. Uh, still holding up pretty well. Uh, the green there that I made all the way back here, the 11th of December, uh, still holding up pretty well. We'll see where we go. Not sure about this uh, green candle up here, uh, but uh, I think uh, we could move that out a bit. But we'll watch this price as well uh, because some of the information's changed around this, this part here. Uh, so we'll, uh, I'm going to look to do a new assessment for that. But definitely, uh, I, think, I definitely feel the price is going to keep moving up is my feeling at the moment. So cool. All right, so uh, nice on that. Let's have a look at the... Uh, the current price of T share, uh, so 29.2 cents, uh, 5,839 is the T share price. And you can see it's definitely recovering here. And I think we are, even though the price increases are taking a little bit longer, uh, I think we're going to get a nice little move up over time. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, we've got. Uh, uh, the share rate, of course, trying to get to that 20,000. Looks like uh, it'll be in the first week of this uh, of 2022. We'll get there. And uh, the hex payout has been fantastic. I'm just loving it as a stake. I hope you are too. Uh, adoption is up and to the right, and we're starting to get a bit of an increase in curve there now. Like that, and that's what we want. Uh, so hex is going to be in demand. I th definitely think it's going to uh, really perform super well. Uh, it's going to be really exciting to be part of, so for sure. Let's have a look at our 15-year global stakes at the moment. Uh, so we can see that we've still got the stakes up front. We're going to go in here. I actually didn't set up this uh, here, so that's okay. So now it's good for you to see how I set this up uh, if you're not familiar with using uh, hex.vision. And uh, you can always uh, do that. So we're going to go uh, to the bottom. We're on the overview, of course, on the dashboard. We're going to scroll all the way down. And uh, let's go down here. So this is the... This is this this chart here is the same as this chart here on app hex dot charts at the bottom, uh, so it's a pretty uh, same one. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna go in and uh, change the time date, and we're gonna go now. We want the day from now, and of course we want uh, the uh, we want the next five months. Uh, let's go, we're going to scroll that down to five months. You can put any range you in, in you like. This is going to adjust. Bam, there we are. Woohoo! All right, so uh, we've got rid of that giant last big candle. Can you believe it? Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. I'm clapping here. I don't know if you can hear me clapping. We got rid of that last big candle. Now we have uh, this candle, uh, and this is kind of the only d uh, big one that's over half a million hex there. And then we're getting down to some more normal range. I know that these are, uh, are, are still relatively decent amounts, but they're much smaller than these big billion candles half a billion candles that we had and we're getting into more normal range as we go in so still a little bit of stuff here uh, but definitely uh, uh, cooling off uh, and of course we have to wait to see what all the stuff that's come out before this uh, by the time we get to the third uh, what is that going to do is it going to stake um, is it going to get a copy on pulse chain is it going to sell anymore is it going to uh, you know start, like i say stake short medium long is it going to sacrifice these are all the key things and of course we've got the sacrifice running all the way through to the ninth before the price increases and that that takes up uh, potentially 180,000 t shares there uh, 300 and uh, you've got all this hex in here uh, so it could potentially that a lot some of that could be sacrificed too and that really cools out some of the stuff but it's looking so much better and of course this was that one stake that uh, staked uh, restaked there 
uh, on the 28th. Now, what do we got the, f the first, uh, the 30th year? Uh, we had the 80 million stake, that, uh, the guy that sent the price down underneath 31 cents yesterday, uh, staked somewhere around here, about the 30th of January, I think, and somewhere in it like that. Uh, so cool, cool, cool. Let's jump over to uh, the Hexbot whale and see what's been going on there. And uh, this is the last 24 hours. Uh, three three million three and a half million hex sacrificed uh, 2.1 million hex sold on uniswap v3 20 hours ago uh, 2.1 million hex sold uh, on v3 and uh, this is what started sending that price down of course uh, we talked about that one that staked uh, 1.4 million sold 20 hours ago uh, we got 26 million hex sacrificed that was awesome and then uh, 1.2 million hex sold 20 hours ago uh, 22 uh, million state for 30 days this is the one that actually sent the price underneath uh underneath uh, uh, 31 cents, and that's how we got into the 20 cent range, was this wallet here. Uh, There's a hex OG that caused that, so hey, there are very good hex OGs that are staked very long, uh, but you still got some that are short staking, uh, playing the short game. Uh, they do get diluted over time because the share rate's going up, um, but it takes some time when they've got big bags like this, so that's like uh, 80 million uh, hex there. 26.6 uh, .6 million hex sacrificed. Wow, some big stuff enough there. I think this is the number one. Uh, they went to number one there on the, our, our big hex whale. 3 million hex sacrificed, and then uh, 16 hours, 3.6 million. 1 million uh, sold 13 hours ago, uh, 200,000 um, uh, early end stakes. So it looks like they might try and throw that into uh, the sacrifice, possibly. This is some of the games people are playing, some of the strategies whether it's going to work out for them is another question 1.4 million that just sold on new swap version 3 uh, that's 10 hours ago so we had a lot of selling obviously a lot of uh, sacrificing uh, 1.2 million X that just sold nine hours ago uh, 4.1 million just sold nine hours ago so this is what the, was pushing us down uh, into uh, that uh, that 25 cent range that we saw uh, three three million uh, uh, matured very cool 18 million stake for one day so you got little stakes like that uh, and uh, what else we got there 1.2 million sold two months ago uh, so that's what's happening what happened to the price there sitting at 28.75 despite the fact that that uh, whale just uh, that the account then sold 1.2 million x all right so let's jump over to pulse chain uh, pulse chain is continuing on its uh, its development we're looking forward to all these benefits obviously looks like might possibly march two months was in uh, rich's live stream that fits with our timetable uh, let's have a look at the GitLab and uh let's see if there's any updates on the day no the last updates was three days ago uh, and on all these things here testnet etc let's jump to the real testnet this testnet uh, pulse chain testnet 2.0 wow well, hey, we're back down to 3.4 second blocks very nice 143,968 transactions so far and uh, that's looking good and it's looking uh, it's sticking away very very cool uh and let's have a look at the pulse x now the sacrifice let's refresh this uh we are killing it on the sacrifice and I'm going to do a live stream later on today, so you'll uh, get to enjoy that. We're going to look at day two results, uh, which I've taken a snapshot of. And I did a day one snapshot yesterday. So we're going to look at that too. And we'll also look at the update, uh, what the actual uh, day three snapshot as well. Because we now uh, just entered into day three, a couple of hours, probably about two hours into day three. And uh, we're at 187,734,652. This is just on Ethereum. Uh, we are killing it. This sacrifice is in US dollar terms. is absolutely amazing. We're almost at 130 million hex on the ETH chain. $30 million in Ethereum and uh, $17 million in USDC. Amazing. So uh, we're going to keep going on there, of course. That's PulseX.com. All the links in the video description, and I've tried to lay them out really nicely now. So uh, just check out all those links. Save it to your favorites. Really cool. Here is the PulseX.info site. Uh, you can connect your wallet and sacrifice to all these different chains now, including Bitcoin and many, many others. So uh, follow the instructions. Uh, if you have, um, you, you can do uh, one or two, a couple of the tokens can do from an exchange, but most of them you do not send from an exchange. Uh, but just follow the instructions here and you will be fine. Uh, is the way to go. So nice. Let's jump over to uh, PulseLead.com. And of course, a uh, big shout out to uh, the developers of this who did uh, Pulse Lead XYZ for the pulse chain sacrifice and now you can see this is measured as well and of course you can do, click this and get the full breakdown there as well matches up to the official site uh, but you can actually see the leaderboard now and of course we've got this huge um, you know big whale here 15.7 million uh, very very nice so and pulse chain sacrifice we had five whales over 10 million so far we've got one at this moment but we're only uh, just started a day three uh, so amazing there we've got uh, quite a few millionaires in there as well yesterday we had uh, i think it was 18 millionaires 
Uh, now we're up to 22. So we've added four more millionaires uh, in the last uh, uh, last uh, half a day. Very, very cool. Let's jump over to the time frame now and uh, let's have a look where we are. So uh, the rocket has to come down a little bit there, uh, but we're in the new year. See the new year is this blue line. We're now in the new year. Very cool. First of January and looking nice. So uh, very, very cool. We've got the Hexpo conference coming up, uh, 3rd to 6th of uh, January. Very nice and uh, looking very cool. Uh, obviously, the Pulse Chain X sacrifice is on. The Pulse Testnet 2.0 is on. Uh, so we're starting to move through that as well. And uh, the hex scale, apparently the private side, the creative investor side, has uh, started. And, of course, uh, uh, they will start, once they start getting collecting some uh, investments, make sure they will start buying uh, sooner than later. So we'll look forward to that as well. And, of course, the time frame still looking uh, at uh, March at the moment. I've got an early March, so somewhere in March there. Two months was the time Richard said in his live stream, and that still fits in with this time frame. Uh, the snapshot block, of course, uh, is going to be somewhere in here uh, as well. Uh, obviously, the Pulse, uh, Pulse uh, X sacrifice got to finish. Uh, it's 25th of Feb, and of course, the, the block's going to, snapshot's got to be in here somewhere. So uh, Richard's got to game that very carefully uh, to stop uh, people pulling liquidity and also uh, playing the game blocks as well. Uh, so we'll look forward to that as well. And uh, yeah, also in March, of course, got the Hexpo Vegas, uh, and that's uh, going to be very exciting. Uh, in Las Vegas, a big shout out to Matty organizing these huge events. Uh, very, very cool. And then Hexscale is also looking to run a, uh, not so much a crypto one, uh, but to attract uh, big investors, uh, possibly uh, in a DS conference sometime. I've got it over here in April, but we don't, don't know, actually know when the date is, uh, but it will be out here somewhere, I guess. Uh, very, very exciting there. Big shout out to Kinetics team and Discourse Syndicate there as well. Uh, so nice work there, folks. Looking good. Uh, Pulse Chain Testnet 3. We're expecting that still, uh, and we don't, just don't know the exact timing. I've got a placeholder there, uh, but expecting that AMM pop to be tested and PulseX as well. Uh, so looking forward to that. All right, so I'm up to 17 minutes. I think it's a pretty good time to finish. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the bell, and catch me in the live stream later on in the day. All right, happy sacrificing. Catch you then. Bye for now.